Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bada habita fillah It's important to be grateful to Allah Azza wa Jal for the many many favors he has bestowed upon us and it is important to be patient with the harms that befall us in this dunya and in a beautiful hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we'll learn some very important lessons uh, about the importance of patience and the importance of being thankful and grateful to Allah Azza wa Jal. Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ajib Allah li amri mu'min, inna amruhu kulluhu khayr. Ida abtuliya sabr, wa ida utiya shakr. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, has made the affair of the mu'min uh, is amazed at the affair of the mu'min and he has and this is because if the believer uh, because the mu'min's fair all of it is good and that if he is tested he is patient and if he is given, he is grateful. Shaykhana Shaykh Ibrahim Rahili, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, he mentions about this hadith. He says, He said that the believer's affair, all of it is good under two conditions. And yes, Bella, the first condition is that the mu'min is patient. Uh, with the test, or patient with the harms, or test the things that he's tested with. And the second thing, and yashkur ala nama, and the second condition of a mu'min's affair being khair is that he is grateful. He or she is grateful for the blessings that they receive from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So those are the two conditions for the mu'min's uh, affair to be khair. He said that wahada dalil and the emirul mu'min kulluhu khair, and this is the evidence that the believer, all of his affairs is good. He said wa innama yafqad had al khair, the way that you lose that khair, that good, imma bi adam sabrihi ala bala, either through not being patient when you are tested, o bi adam. Shukrihi li or being by not being patient, uh, not being grateful when you receive a blessing. And he says that if the believer is haris, you know, if the believer is vigilant on their self in trying to attain those two conditions meaning that they are patient when they are tested and they are grateful when they are given or blessed then in their affair all of it is khair then all of their affair is khair and nothing will really harm them and then he mentions another faida another benefit the shaykh says will he have a ikhtalaf al ulama fi mufadala bayna al ghani al shakir wa bayna al faqir al sabir فَتَكَلَمَ الْعُلَمَاءَ وَأَطَالُ الْحَدِيثِ عَنْ حَتَيْنَ الْمَسْأَلَتَيْنَ So the shaykh then mentions another great benefit for us. He says <coughs> that the scholars, the scholars differ over the greatness, or over which one is greater. The wealthy one who is grateful and between the poor person who is patient. And so the ulama have written extensively about this, the ulama is sunnah uh, throughout history. So this is a big fa'idah to show us the mufadala bayn al-a'mal, that there is different levels of doing good deeds. So here the shaykh is talking about the issue, for example, there are those people who are blessed with immense wealth, and they show that they're grateful by spending it in so much khair and so much good. So they spend it, they, 
they give charity, they spend it on those people who have rights over them, they spend it on the people who don't have uh, necessarily direct rights over them, they spend it on uh, all the various abwab al khair, all the different ways you can spend in goodness, in building uh, institutions of khair. So this is uh, this person is 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 giving the haq of their wealth, and they're showing that they're grateful to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Women marazaknahum yunfikun, and from what we have given them, they spend, as Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says. The other scenario that the Sheikh is mentioning, he mentions about those who are faqir, those people who are poor, they don't have much of anything. And if you travel around the world, you see most people are poor. Most people are poor when you travel around the world in any country. Look at America even, for those of us living in the West. Most of the people, if you're in the UK, most of the people, there's so many people on the dole, as they say, and in America there's so many people on welfare who don't even qualify, don't even get welfare, who are just struggling. Homeless, whatever the case may be. But the one who is in this state, but is patient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not always complaining, not showing signs, uh, not being disobedient, but said just saying alhamdulillah, which you'll find uh, in, in many of the Muslim countries, and even non-Muslim countries, from Muslim minorities that are grateful to Allah Azza wa Jal, and that are patient on the tests that the, the various tests that they're tested with. So the scholars, they differ over which one is better, which one has a greater status, a greater level. And then the Shaykh, he mentions a Sahih, the correct view, is in accordance with the Athar of Umar, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who said, Inni la ubali abil khair ubtuliyat um أم بالبلاء لأنه أمره يتردد بين الشكر وبين الصبر والإنسان لا يتكلف البلاء ولا يجوز له أن يسأل الله البلاء بل شرع لنا أن تسأل الله العافية عمر بن الخطاب رضي الله تعالى عنه said and we'll end here because there was so much more we could say but we're going to end there he said, so the Shaykh said that this, the most sound opinion is in accordance with Umar radiallahu ta'ala and this athar on Umar bin al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala and showing the Shaykh's love and adherence to the minhaj of the Salaf al-Sa'ali radiallahu ta'ala So Umar said radiallahu ta'ala and he said, verily I don't give it any, I don't pay attention to uh, or it's not important to me whether some, whether I'm tested with good, something good, or, uh, you know, a, a, a trial, you know, a tribulation, a fitna, a bala. Because the affair, because the issue is between gratefulness and between being patient. And a person is not responsible for the test that they are put into. And it is not permissible for him to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for to be tested. It's not permissible to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be tested and tried to go through fitna. You know, oh Allah, please make me sick. No. And so I can test my iman. No, it's not permissible to do that. He said, rather, it is uh, legislated for us to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, for goodness or for good health, for afiyah. So it shows us that whichever scenario you're in, that you should either, that you should tr strive your best to be a thankful and patient slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that you should not ask Allah azza wa jal to be tried and tested and to have fitna and have difficulty in your life, but rather ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for good. And we end by saying, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina dhab al-nar wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad.